Good evening, my dear friends, and welcome to Monday Evening Vespers on the 2nd of February. And we light a light this evening for the whole family of God, many of whom are hurting in mind, in body and spirit. And we begin with our evening prologue of our brother and sister as scenes of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Monday evening, we commune with the angel of peace saying, angel of peace, 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 angel of peace, be always everywhere. We now reflect the crescent moon and the moonlight invoking and visualizing universal peace in all spheres of existence. And now for the office of Vespers, O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now we have our hymn. We praise you, Father, Mother God, for your gift of dusk and nightfall over earth, foreshadowing the mystery of death that leads to endless day. Within our hands we rest secure our quiet sleep, our strength renew, in love to you, unsleeping Lord. Your glory may we ever seek, in rest as in activity, until its fullness is revealed, O source of life, O Trinity. First Antiphon, give thanks to the Lord for his great love is without end. And now we read Psalm 135. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvellous works, for his love endures forever. Whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever. Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever. It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever. The sun to rule in the day, for his love endures forever. The moon and the stars and the night, for his love endures forever. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. The second antiphon, great and wonderful are your works, O Lord God the Almighty. And we continue with Psalm 135. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through his midst, for his love endures forever. Bear with me, my pages are crumbling because they're over 40 years old. Like me, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force into the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sion king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And Og the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit the earth, their land, sorry, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. 
He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Great and wonderful are your works, O Lord God Almighty. And the third antiphon, God planned to bring all things together under Christ when the fullness of time had come. And now we have a canticle from Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons and daughters through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespass according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ is a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God planned to bring all things together under Christ when the fullness of time had come. And now for a scripture reading from Paul to 1 Thessalonians. May the Lord be generous in increasing your love and make you love one another and the whole human race as much as we love you. And may he so confirm your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless in the sight of our God and Father Mother when our Lord Jesus Christ comes with all his saints. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for our short response, free, let my prayer come before you, O Lord. Let my prayer come before you, O Lord. Let it rise in your presence like incense. Let my prayer come before you, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. Let my prayer come before you, O Lord. And the Magnificent Antiphon, let my soul proclaim your greatness forever, O oh my God. And now, my dear friends, for the Magnificat, the Canticle of Mary, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty handed. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let my soul proclaim your greatness forever, O my God. And now we come to our evening intercessions. Let us pray to God who never deserts those who trust in him. Response. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pour out your spirit on the church and on all fates. Let men and women see in her the greatness of your loving kindness. 
excuse me, response, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be with the priests and ministers of your church, the rabbis and imams, and all the men and women who dedicated their lives in serving you, O God. What they preach to others, may they practice in their lives. Response, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Teach us to understand one another more deeply. By your presence, free us from prejudice and fear. Response, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give married couples constancy and mutual understanding. May their difficulties help to deepen the love they have for each other. Response, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pardon the sins of all our departed brothers and sisters. May they enjoy new life in the company of your saints. Response in your mercy, hear our prayer. And this evening I would like to pray for all of you who've joined me and for those who will watch this recording of Vespers at a later time. May the Lord God who knows you, who created you, who invites you to come home and receive God's healing love. Be with you and bless you always. And this evening I pray for all our elderly people around the world, many of whom have a pretty tough time, especially those on low incomes or with poor families. And in some cultures, as soon as you become elderly and no further use to the community, you can't pull your weight, you're discarded by the roadside. How appalling. So we pray for all our elderly men and women around the world, that they will be treated more fairly, compassionately and lovingly. We pray this evening for those who are struggling with hardship, be it mental or physical or emotional, maybe spiritual. Let us now come as we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all the ministers of this church, for His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, and all the Buddhist monks and nuns of the Tibetan tradition. We pray for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and the Archbishop of Canterbury, who are the leaders of the Church of England. But we pray tonight for the ordinary men and women who still cling to their faith be it Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Sikh, or Baha'i, or Buddhist, we give thanks to God for their example and their love. Let us now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us tonight our daily bread, Forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And our closing prayer this evening reads, Stay with us, Lord Jesus, as evening falls. Be our companion on our way, in your mercy inflame our hearts and raise our hope so that in union with our brother and brethren, we may recognize you in the scriptures and in the breaking of bread, who live and reign with the Father, Mother, God, and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of Vespers this Monday, Tuesday, Monday, the 2nd of February. Forgive me, I'm losing it. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah, Pak Set Bonam, Om Shanti, Solo de Carita, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of your God bless you. And now for the closing Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this night, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and from the animal kingdom. Be in your hearts now and forevermore. Amen. I blow the peace of God to you. Let us in turn blow the peace of God to the four corners of the earth. Amen.